Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Today we're gonna build a power box um, for bringing with you on the boat, bringing with you ice fishing, um, kind of any camping, any application. And these particular boxes that we're gonna be building today are um, using WSBs, so four total charging ports. And uh, one of them has a uh, amperage reader on it. The other one just has the two plugins, but they both have four USBs and they have a switch. Um, there's also uh, what they call banana plug or battery terminals here, which you can put uh, wires in there and kind of bring them around the edge and clamp them down. This uh, I'm gonna use to do lights in my portable, but you can also put any, any wires in there to get power. You can also charge it through this. And then it also has these eagle eye lights in the front with another switch. So that's the build that we decided to do. This particular build, we're using a 15 amp hour uh, amped outdoors battery. So I'll show you right now. It looks like this. And we got this from Shields on sale for a hundred bucks. It comes with a, a cool charger port that has two terminals on it. So you can have it plugged in to the terminal like this. And also you can plug another clip on that off of that. And it comes with a charger, hundred bucks for that. And then the rest of the build, all the components, the wires, the USB terminals, these terminals, the switches, the lights, and the box were a total of $23. And the math on that is <clears throat> we used AliExpress, which I'll link everything below with all the different components and how much they cost. And a lot of them come in bulk. So we actually built, we are gonna be in the process of building three boxes. This is a bigger one that I built for a larger um, battery. And we're gonna build two of these with the Amped Outdoors batteries. And so just dividing the math by three for the bulk that we bought, it came out to $23 for everything but the battery. And then with the battery, it's $123. And you could even do it cheaper if you built four, five, six of these boxes because it comes with an absolute ton of uh, equipment for that price. So as you divide it, as you further subdivide it, the price gets lower. But yeah, we'll say 123 bucks. Power box, these are selling for anywhere from like two to 250. Um, if you're gonna buy them pre-built. And the box is pretty sturdy. We got this box. It's a stackable utility storage box from Walmart. The dimensions are 11.5 inches wide, five inches deep, and 7.2 inches in height. That's the external measurements. So the interior is a little bit smaller, but you can see that it does have quite a bit of storage in there. You can fit the charger in there. You can also fit um, other charging cables like uh, USB to USB-C or USB to lightning, anything that you're gonna be charging using these USBs, you can even fit those in there as well, and even a little extra storage. So it's plastic, but it's black, it looks pretty cool. It's not very heavy, I bet the whole thing is under five pounds. And um, the lights are actually very bright, <laughs> as you can see. So it can keep you lit up at night. But without further ado, we're gonna go step by step and at the end, actually at the beginning and the end, I'm gonna show this diagram. It's a wiring diagram that I made because uh, another similar video, I, f I found myself wanting to have a certain diagram like this so that I could really tell what was going on with each step because it gets a little confusing as you get into it. Starts out pretty easy, gets a little bit more complex, especially when you start talking about the switches. So, okay, step one guys is going to be placing the battery. So here's the latch. You're gonna want the terminals of the battery to be nearest the latch and so that the wires are coming this way from there. Step two then is gonna be um, drawing out your marks for the eagle eye lights. And what we did is we placed a mark at the three quarter mark there and the two and three quarter mark here. And then we went up roughly four and a half inches up and centered them there. So we are gonna drill two holes here and the actual technical size for that is 27 64 but we found that pretty hard to find. So if you use 7 16 it'll work just fine. It'll be a little bit too big, but as you can see here, the Eagle Eyes have a um, locking nut that's gonna go on the back. And so once you get that snug, even if it's a little loose in there, it's not gonna move at all. So that'll be our next step here. We're gonna drill holes, then we're gonna set the Eagle Eyes in there. 
Okay, so we have installed the Eagle Eye lights here, as you can see. And here's the wires coming out. And now we're gonna install the switch right here. This uses a three quarter inch bit. We have three of them actually here. We got these from Menards. Um, as you can kind of tell, they have different uh, measurements as you go each step in. So we're gonna use this one. We've actually marked the three quarter inch there. So we're gonna go ahead and um, actually, because the inside of the box has these separators, it's kind of hard to tell where to drill the hole. So we're gonna actually go on the inside here and we're gonna drill our hole right there, right now. So these particular rocker switches that we bought, they have a little notch on it right there. So it is three quarter, except you have to figure out where that is. So if we want the zero here, then that notch is going to be right there. And we're gonna have to take our razor blade and just notch that out so that this will slide in perfectly. So I notched out that part and then I was able to wiggle in the switch. So now the switch for the lights is ready to be hooked up a little bit later. Now we're gonna move on to the USBs and the ring terminals and the other switch that controls the ring terminals and the USBs. So we'll do that next. For these, you have to use a one and one eighth uh, inch drill bit, which on our bigger one here is going to be right there. So we'll use that, drill these. And actually on this one, on this particular one, there is a divider right here that you have to cut out. So all we did for this is we scored each of these sides a few times and then we're gonna use a snips Oops, and we're going to snip that out which will then make room for the USB. So we'll do that next. All right, so we got that out of the way by scoring it, clipping down on the sides and then wiggling it. We did have a little bit more to, to get out here but we got it. Now we're ready to drill the one and one eighth hole so that we can put the USB sockets in. We used the, the score mark there that, of the part that we took out as center. We went an inch down and an inch up to center our USBs. I'm gonna start with the smaller one there. And again, using that as center, we're just gonna drill some pilot holes here. And then we're gonna come around to the other side, but this will allow us to get everything centered correctly. Now we're gonna flip it, put the cover on. And I'll actually give it you so we can get better footage so well I'll go all the way down with this and then we need to switch to the other big one right <laughs> so we have the one and one eighth hard to see but one and one eighth we got that marked again so good visual aid and we're gonna go slower now Clean up your plastic. And then we might need to do a little bit oh, of some razor, razor blade work guys, there. Yeah. All right, so we got the USBs installed. They went in nicely with that one and one eighth drill bit. And then the other side, they have these little lock washers that are plastic. You snug them down tightly. And we actually used uh, needle nose pliers to just go in there and get those tightened up nicely. We got them nice and square. We're ready now to move on to this section of the box, which is the switch that controls the USBs and the ring terminal. So we'll work on that next. Again, this is gonna be a three quarter inch drill bit here. And these, I think we're gonna use it, uh, three sixteenths for the ring terminals to get in there. And then we'll do that over here. So that will be next. Okay, so this is the part we're working on here, the ring terminals and then the next switch. So what we're doing for this, we just took this part off of the ring terminal. We're going to set it in here. We're going to drill through it with the 3 16 And then I just marked a little dot that's centered this way and this way off of that little half curve there. And then we're going to do three quarter in there for the switch. So we'll do that now. So I actually think we should throw those back in to hold in place. Sure. 
So we'll put the lock nut, we put the, one of the terminals back in with a lock nut, <laughs> and now we're tightening it down so that we can get the angle correct as we drill through the second hole here, just to line it up nicely. Looks yep, so pretty we're good. Gonna, we're gonna, yep, that looks great. And there's your three quarters. So now we'll put the switch in there, we'll put the other terminal in there, and that part will be. Gotta notch it out though, too, on this one again with the switch. We gotta notch it out. Yep, just like we talked about, we'll show that. That little notch right there has to be notched out. We'll do that next. So now we have the ring terminal and the switch installed. This is what it looks like on the other side there. And we just have one set of lock nuts on there with a washer and a locking washer underneath it. And then here's the switch and our two USBs and the switch for the lights. And now we are ready to start wiring. So we're gonna get that laid out for you next. Okay, to save yourself some time and to save us some time, we pre-cut these wires and I'm gonna tell you exactly um, what worked for this box right here, what works for us. So we start out with a 22 and a half inch black wire. So cut it at 22 and a half or 23. And then we have a red wire that's 14 inches right here. We have a red wire that is nine inches. And then we have three red wires that are about seven inches two black wires that are seven inches. And then the fuse that you'll get for us, it came connected, so we just snipped it. And when you snip it, it ends up at 12 inches. So if you pre-cut these, you'll be off to the races for the wiring job. And then next we'll show you the diagram. So I'm just gonna have, this is what it looks like, but I'm gonna have a still photo of it here and at the beginning of the end, so you can cut to this. And I'll actually probably show it between each step. I'll show what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is the switch for the USB terminals here. Um, we're going to have a red going with the fuse to the battery on the red there. We're going to have a red jumping to the ring terminal. And then we're going to have a red jumping to one of the USBs and then to the other USB. A black that goes to the one USB and to the other USB. And then a black that goes all the way back to the blacks over here. So this is step one, switching for the USBs and the terminal. So we're gonna work on that now. And there's a close up of it running over to the battery. All right, so we have now completed all, all the wiring. We did that just to save time, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through that. So to start out with, we have a 90 degree connector up so this is one of the seven inch reds wires to a 90 degree here then to a ring terminal here to another seven inch wire 90 degree here double wire to another 90 degree here so 90 to ring to 90 to 90 looks like that and i'll show you exactly where this goes here so we got the ring terminal here the 90 is going to go there the next 90 which is, is the go. switch yep on the switch so ring terminal the switch to USB there, to USB there. Okay, so that's that. That's the first piece you're gonna make. The second piece you're gonna make is this longer one here. So we're gonna go switch all the way. There's your fuse right there. And then this comes all the way down. It's gonna plug into the red terminal on your battery right there. So again, that's switch to fuse to battery. And then this one loops back and plugs into another switch here for the lights. And the other, the other part of that switch goes to the two reds on the eagle eye lights. So this is the second piece. Third piece here is gonna be the black one. So again, with the black one, you're gonna have the ring terminal here to a 90. That's gonna go up to the USB there to a 90, that's gonna to go to the USB here. 
And then the final one from the ring terminal is gonna trace all the way back to the battery here. And along the way, it joins up with the two blacks from the Eagle Eye lights. So you got ring terminal, USB, USB, and then on, on with the ring terminal, you have the long 22 and a half inch that goes all the way back to here. Here's your two Eagle Eye blacks. I'm against my hand there, and you can see them, the black, the black. The three of them join together, form this, and this is gonna plug into the black terminal on your battery here. If you have the screw post type of batteries, you can always use this style instead of this style, but because we have these, that's gonna go right there. All right, so put the two ring terminals on here, and then we clicked in the red 90s and the black 90s on the USBs and on the two switches. Um, and then we hooked up the things to the battery here. And we're gonna go ahead and close it now. It's to have the wire sticking out. Okay, okay. still. Got the wire out there. Something's still. Okay, and we're gonna turn on. So we got 13.9, 13.8 point, 13 reading on the voltmeter there, the amperage. Two USBs, try the lights, lights are working good, and that is the completed battery box. Um, and again, there's the diagram, and I'll have links below with the uh, how to order the things from AliExpress. Um, one thing I will say about AliExpress is when you get on the website, um, you're gonna, um, okay, two things. One thing is, I would order everything that I have in here. I tried to take shortcuts and think that I like didn't need the ring terminals or didn't need certain things and ended up doing multiple orders, which then you pay for shipping every time. So it's better just to put everything in your cart, ship it once. The other thing is with AliExpress, at least for US Bank, which is what I use, uh, I would get a notification in my email asking if I really was trying to make a purchase from AliExpress. I would say yes, and then it would go through, and I believe I had to do it on my computer, my desktop, not my phone. I could never get it to work on my phone, and I honestly thought it was a risk at first. I didn't think that it was a legit website or that, um, I don't know. It just seemed weird that it was, it, it, yeah, I thought I was gonna get <laughs> scammed. I thought my information was gonna get stolen, but actually everything shipped and it shipped within like a week, week and a half. And if they don't get it to you by um, a good amount of time, they give you like a, a little coupon for your next purchase. So uh, it's actually a, like a parent or sister brother company of Alibaba, AliExpress. So it worked out. It's pennies on the dollar compared to Amazon. So yep, if you wanna build one of these boxes for 23 bucks or less, Follow these instructions and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.